Hi, welcome to Jenny's Stamping Parlour and today I'm going to show you how to make a grunge paper rose. This is one of my favourite things to make and I've been demonstrating them all year. So I'm going to show you how to make them as quickly as I can. Okay. You need some grunge paper and you need a flower type stamp or a flower type punch. It needs six petals. Um, you need some distress inks and you need some little clips and a bottle of glossy inks. Okay, cut out your grunge paper flowers and leave them as six flowers at the moment. Okay, I'm going to ink them up with some um, warm lipstick. I'm just inking them around. Take it from the mat over onto the grunge paper. Lots of ink, plus red flower It's going to come out, red rose. And again, do them all. And I'm going to ink up with a bit of uh, aged mahogany around the outside. Okay, you've got all your grunge paper inked up. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit of vintage photo round the outside just to give it a little bit of depth. So you want to do that to all three flowers. Okay. And allow them to dry. It does dry pretty quickly. Once they're dry, you want to cut up the petals. So, for the first petal, first layer, you want to cut to the middle. So you've got it cut like that. The second one, you're going to cut out one petal. And on the third one, you're going to cut out two petals. So you're left with five elements. Okay. What you want to do is glue one of the petals. Whoops. A little bit too much. Just wipe that over there. And you want to glue it. And I use little clips just to hold them till they're glued. On the second one, you want to do the same. And I'm just going to pick, pick a little bit up of the glossy accents and again you want to fold it and just clip it till it dries so you've got two and on the third one you're going to do exactly the same so you've got three petals three elements of the flower on these ones here, the two that you cut out, the two petals that you've cut out, you want to fold the grunge paper back. So it's got a little, quite hard to see, but you want to fold it so that it's got a little curl in it. Okay, And again, you want to curl that together, so you want to fold it in and curl it round. And that's going to make the centre of your rose. It's quite fiddly and not the easiest thing in the world to do and again you want to put a little tiny touch of glue. Oops, too much. Oh well, don't worry because you won't see this anyway and again clip it to glue it. To let it dry. With the final piece, what I tend to do with this is cut it off before I make it and you want to roll it towards the centre. You want to take the leaves and just roll them. Now you can roll them together like that or you can roll them all in one roll. And again, a little tiny, tiny touch of glue 
just to hold it. And again, clip it. Allow those to dry and then you can start putting your grunge paper rows together. Okay, having glued them all, you've now got five elements. And what you want to do is make sure the petals are bent down and the grunge paper will stay bent so it's very nice to use. Okay, you want to chop off the bottom of each of the roses so that they sit. So I fold them in four, which you'll be able to do. That's because the grunge paper is quite... Um, and you've got a flat piece there like that. And again, you want to chop the bottom off this one. Oops. And you've got that. And again, with that one. Okay. And you want to glue them all together. Again, you cut the bottom off this one. And it all will sit in. And finally, this little tiny one, I've already chopped off the bottom. So... We're going to glue them all together and generally I use glossy accents but you can use any glue if you're doing this with paper because you can do, it make, they make beautiful roses with paper. You want to put a big lump of glue, oops, that was a little bit too much glue. So I'll wipe that away and that will give a nice glossy finish to the glue and making the right mess here. So glue it in and allow them to dry. If you use the non-stick sheets, you'll find that um, it'll come away from there. So I'm just going to pop that in there, like that. Okay. And again, the same with this one. And in fact, actually, if you roll your little tiny one and glue that in to the middle first, it's easier. But you get the full idea. Oops, it's a little bit too much glue. Pop that into there so it's glued in. That's the middle of the rose. Push it right in. Okay. And a nice lump of glue in there. You need quite a bit of glue because it will part itself if there's not enough glue. Okay. And we'll allow that to dry, and then you'll have a finished rose. Finally, when it's all glued together, a touch of diamond stickles makes it sparkle. <laughs>